Before Fort Knox arrived, Fish Creek Valley was historically mined several times by several different methods. And in those early days, as a lot of this mining began in the early 1900s, there was no reclamation really done. One of the first things that Fort Knox did when they arrived is they recognized that this area really needed to be cleaned up. We reclaimed the valley to a wetland. They uh, graded out all of the areas of erosion, revegetated everything, stopped the sedimentation that was creating the real problem. At the time, we established a goal for uh, post-reclamation uh, to have somewhere between 800 and uh, 1600 uh, Arctic grayling over 8 inches uh, in, this, in this complex. I mean, we have a population of about 7400 uh, grayling over 8 inches. And we have a, a, a big population of Arctic grayling that uh, successfully uh, sustaining itself now. We have just about everything you can think of that lives in interior Alaska that would eat fish, uh, bald eagles, osprey, uh, nest uh, on the nest platform that FGMI constructed on the reservoir. We've got mink, otter, uh, egrets, loons, uh, pretty much you name it, and they're here. But also when you talk water quality, you got to talk the mine itself and, and protecting the Fish Creek Valley. So there is no processed water whatsoever, groundwater or surface water, gets past our systems to come on down the valley. We have a whole group of people, environmental technicians, pond operators, uh, mill folks who do daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly inspections of all the facilities. Some of the facilities such as the Interceptor wells are monitored continuously in the control room at the mill. Well, I think the, the project has been very successful and that ultimately, once the mine is reclaimed and closed, uh, this area would uh, come back to the state and be used as a recreational area uh, through state parks. I think it'll be a great place for that. What's more Alaska than wetlands and grayling and burbot? I think this is a fantastic example of how mining and, and fish can not only coexist, but actually the fish can benefit from the efforts of mining.